Well, my first argument in that direction would be the fact that we can do science. I'm a mathematician. I expect the universe to be intelligible, at least in part, in terms of mathematics and physics. And that's evidence to me that this is a rational universe and therefore it was designed by an intelligence. It seems to me that's a very powerful argument that has been seen by many, many people throughout history. No. Uh, if you look at the rise of modern science through people like Kepler and Galileo and Newton, they were all believers in God. And it was their faith in God that drove their science because it gave them rational justification for believing that science could be done. There is a conflict. The conflict is not between science and faith in God, it's between atheism and theism. And you find brilliant scientists on both sides. And the very fact that there are brilliant scientists who are atheists, and there are brilliant scientists who, for example, are like me, Christians, shows that the conflict cannot between, be between science and belief in God. It's as simple as that. But there's a real underlying conflict between atheism and theism. So the relevant question to ask is, is science on the side of theism or atheism, or neither? And I believe it's very clearly on the side of theism. Thank you. I believe that God has revealed himself. Science can tell us a bit about the universe and that there's an intelligence behind it. But the Christian claim goes much further than that. Uh, uh, the claim is that God has actually revealed himself. Now the only way to get another person, get to know another person, is if they reveal themselves. If you want to get to know me, I'll have to talk to you. And God has talked to us, I believe, and he's revealed himself in the person of Jesus Christ, who is God become human. And therefore, what I think of him is that he is the Son of God, so that what he thinks of me is much more important than what I think of him. <laughs> Thank you very much. The French, French is a beautiful language. Uh, J'ai oublié presque tout mon français, c'est terrible. <laughs> Malheureusement, je suis vieux et c'est presque impossible pour moi maintenant de parler français couramment. Vous parlez bien. Mais je lis beaucoup de français. Uh, je m'intéresse pour les uh, œuvres philosophiques, uh, les athéistes comme uh, Michel Onfray, et, 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 etc. Et malheureusement, je n'ai plus beaucoup de contact avec la France. Mais peut-être ça changera. Hein? <laughs> Thank you so much, Jim. Okay, Thank au revoir. You.